the flawed are coming to Mars. Let's check it out. We're going to um, bring some people in. Oh, and we've got um, a, 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 refill, a resupply rocket on the way. And, um, oh, the metal beggars are all already here. Let's um, land you... Let's land you guys over there. That's an orange rocket. Let's let's watch it come in, and then um, we'll go and get a um, another rocket to come in with people, flawed people. Orange rocket. Right, so we're just going to resupply the hell out of that with with um, with metal. There we go. Oh, and we need to refuel it. Charming. They could have bought their own complete. fuel. Twenty six out of thirty fuel there, and our resupply rockets coming in. So we're nearly nearly ready the flawed. As soon as the resupply rocket comes in we'll have a load more polymers so we can upgrade this. And we did it, oh, okay, well we've already upgraded the, um, the fuel refinery so that's fine. So it's producing more. 15 fuel per sol, so it takes, cool. so it takes like two sol. Maybe we should have bought in another fuel refinery. Well, we can put this on a low priority. Um, this one... Let's go and put this one on high priority. There we go. High priority. We only need three more fuel until we can send that home. And then we'll bring on um, some, pass some more people. And we've got... Yeah, we've only got 28 out of 72 slots filled. Sanity seems to be increasing. Um, so does comfort and morale. Comfort's at 58, morale's at 59. And we're building a space bar, casino complex. We've got one gym, and I think if we've got gluttons coming in, maybe we should build another gym, because we don't want them getting um, overweight on Mars. Not that it really matters. Here we go, another gym. I'm sure it'll help them. Over there. Research complete. What's this? Um, the RC commander starts with four additional drones. Yeah. Let's um, bump up the research and, and then go fishing for some people. There we go. So we've got the... Um, unlocks new crops. Um, new building for electronics factory. So we can build our own factory. Um, new building shuttle hub. Just, just research that. Houses and refuel shuttles, so does that mean that we can just build it instead of having to have have brought it in on prefab, maybe? Um, new building VR workshop. Ooh, we don't have one of those yet. That'd be cool. And we, we're on um, 7,000 research costs now, so why don't we just cancel that one and go... Ooh, look at all these things. Solar panels and large... Solar panels power production increased by 100%. Let's do that. Oh, we'll do some of these. Focus your research. Oh, this is the Earth Initiative thing. So we could do that. It's only 5,000 research points. Um, hull polarization. Buildings require maintenance less, less often. Oh, we could definitely do that. That would help us um, consume less materials. So we'll definitely do that one soon. And we could do this one. All spires can be ordered as prefabs from Earth. That would be amazing. We'll, we'll, we'll research that shortly. Um, right, speaking of which, uh, here's the materials come. You land over there, and let's bring in a rocket from Earth. With people. Oh, we've got a few people here, so... Okay, that's fine. We'll keep these people in. And um, let's go to our filters. Floors. So, co cowards, I don't think is... Double sanity loss from disasters can be caused by sanity breakdowns. I don't think a coward would be too bad on Mars. We don't want chronic conditions, alcoholics or gamblers. Gluttons we're okay with. So we'll go with that. We'll go with cowards. Um, hypochondriacs I don't think we want because they'll use up all our medical buildings. Idiots. Do we want some idiots on Mars? Can cause a malfunction at workplace. Malfunctioning buildings stop working and require maintenance. Mm, don't think so. Ooh, loner. We could do with some loners. Loses comfort every day while living in a dome with population over 30. Mm, don't know about that. 
because we've got some big domes coming up. Lazy. Individual performance decreases by 20 at all jobs. Mm, might not be too bad. Ooh. Melancholic. Increased performance penalty when at low morale can be caused by sanity breakdown. So performance penalty. We could go with that. A whiner loses sanity when low on comfort. We won't do that um, yet. Okay, let's apply those filters. And all of a sudden we've got loads more people. Okay, let's get rid of everyone who doesn't have a specialisation. It's a bit annoying. Just filled it up straight away. Bear with, bear with. There we go. Um, ooh, look. So look, we're going for scientists, aren't we? Load scientists on there. Uh, one here. So this one is a lazy scientist. We've got a cowardly scientist here, and we've got a melancholic scientist. What else have we got? Um, glutton. And we've got melancholic. Just going for scientists. Um, ooh, that, is that all of them? Looks like that's all the scientists, unless there's the odd one in there that I've missed. Now, let's bring in some botanists. Um, ooh, engineers as well. Yep, engineers we need. Brilliant. Okay, launch. We have the flawed people coming to Mars. Prepare yourselves, for you have not known people like this before. We were all unflawed. And now I've just let them all in. All those ships lined up. This one should be ready to go. Uh, 29 fuel, just one more to go and we'll send that off. wonder if this drone is bringing the fuel in now. Anyway, now we've got all these extra supplies, we can certainly do loads of upgrades, so let's do that as well. Go on the buildings and reset filters and then we're ready to roll. So, um... This is a bit annoying, the um, menu that comes up. Let's get down to where we can start. There we go, one upgrade. Here they all are, one, two. A lot of these um, wind turbines that we'll be upgrading are near our new Megadome, so it'd be good to have the extra power. And we've got some upgrades here. Now this is going to be a cool upgrade. So it's going to take five polymers each, and we're going to upgrade the polymer factory. So that's good. Upgrade the electronics factory and upgrade the machine parts factory. Plus 25% production, plus 20% consumption. We can upgrade the Moxie, but we don't need to because that's the extra one over in the Megadome. Yep, we're upgrading you. Uh, what's this one down here? Water extractor, we could upgrade. Uh, so we've got three water extractors, we'll do that. Why not? And then these are all the other buildings, no upgrades yet. Okay, we've done. Upgraded all the ones that we can. The exciting upgrades I'm looking forward to are the production buildings over here. So, we'll see when they've been done. Upgrade cost, we're filling up the upgrade cost. Then production will increase by 25%, which will be very much needed and it'll get us bang, bang on top of um, self-sufficiency, I think. Full work shift there. See, they're producing more polymers now. Oh, there we go. That's upgraded. Amplify. Um, this one is upgraded, and that one's upgraded. Nearly. I mean, as in, that one, that's done. <laughs> Actually done. Sector scan. One more polymer done. Okay. Fantastic. Let's scan a few more sectors. Okay, we're getting there. Oh, look, there's a research bonus. Let's go and uh, investigate that. It's an anomaly. Send our explorer. It has been useful having two explorers because there have been two um, anom anomalies at times. Send this rocket off back to Earth. Yep, it's ready to roll. Off you go. And um, just in time, actually, to welcome in our our new passenger rocket of flawed people in the Megadome, so that's 72% of the way here. We've got one rocket ready to roll back to Earth over here. Okay, so yeah, we can send you off, or we could do another expedition, but um, we'll just send you off for now. Get back down here. So how much water are we, are we using in this Megadome? We've, we've mined 9,500 well, we've mined 2,000 water. Cool. 
How much are we holding then? Stored water 243, so that's slowly building because we do have um, slightly more water being produced than we're using. 0.4, so that's slowly building. We're being told we're low on power. Now, which power grid are we low on? Oh, here are our people. Right, bring in the people. Oh, oh. oh this is good. Right, let's open up these shifts. We're open up, opening up all the shifts on our research labs. Research complete. We're short on power over here, aren't we? Oh, but I wonder if we've um, upgraded everything yet. Let's um, get some more power built quickly. So this fusion, fusion reactor would be good to have. We could do some solar, but wind um, seems to be the best at the moment. Some more over here. Anomaly analyzed. Another four. To another five, which will give us twenty-five power. Should be enough. We are showing we're we're low on power. Just had a research boost from that anomaly. That's brilliant. And we've got food once again from these guys coming in. Which is fine. Now, what are we doing on research? 2.4k on research. Minus 70 power. Stored power's low. Right, let's just um, go on a normal speed for the game. And we'll put these on high priority. So we need some quick power. This one. Could potentially do with another, like, sterling generator or something. So let's um, lay down one of those and make it. Cost is 10 polymers and 5 electronic parts, but that's fine because we've got, got enough for that. We'll open it up when it's built, so we'll put that on a high priority as well. Um, I don't know if we need any more power over here. We're not showing any power outage signs, but let's show you again on the grids. So this is a, this top one's our main grid. Yeah, and we're short of power on the main one. The secondary gr grid, not so much. Um, we do have a, an excess actually. So okay, let's add some power to this main grid. Wonder if oh yeah look and we're really low on power um, accumulated as well. Let's put some um, some wind turbines along here so we can uh, buddy them up and uh, do some more around here. Over there, just see if that's enough. So 50 power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, we'd need another few. Five. And just building them along the existing power grid just means they're plugged in straight away, so that's an easy way to do it. Lots of power concentrated all, all, all around here. Could definitely do with a um, fusion reactor. Be using a lot of um, resources building these. So, what do they take? They're like machine parts for maintenance. Oh, and we can upgrade a load of stuff, can't we, once they're built. But a wind turbine costs four. Um, concrete and one machine part, so we've got plenty of machine parts. Oh, refugee crisis, what is this? <gasps> oh! So, turmoil on Earth has driven many refugees to seek shelter as far from Mother Planet as possible. Accepting some refugees in the colony will generate both funding and good press. Um, refugee refugees are untrained for life on Mars and will initially have reduced work performance at all jobs. Some of them may have trouble adjusting to the Martian lifestyle and may, may become renegades. Ooh. Now, what have we got? We grant asylum to some of the refugees. Ten refugees re receive 200 million. Uh, receive three, 30 refugees um, for 200 million, but get minus five colonist uh, morale uh, for the next 20 souls. Or uh, Mars will just refuse them and get minus 15 colonist morale. Looks like it's option number one because it doesn't seem to give us any penalties and we'll get some more people. Let's do ten refugees. How interesting. How are we getting on with refueling that? We'll put that on low priority because 
um, we want to maintain focus on these um, these rockets for resupply and for bringing people onto Mars. Uh, two out of thirty there. Okay, so take a little while to resupply. I wonder if we've had any movement in between colonies as well. We've got enough for twenty more people here. And um, we're on 2.6k research, how cool is that? We're getting there, we're getting very close. So we're not full um, on employees for these uh, research labs. Not at all. So we could bring in 20 people. Um, oh, but are there... Let's just see if there are any people who are like... Oh, they're going to have to be flawed, aren't they? Let's get rid of everyone there. Because really we're after scientists, aren't we? Oh, yeah, we've got some scientists we can still bring on board. One, two... Two scientists. Hmm. Let's see who we're short of then. I'll go to the Martian University. Could do with a bit of... Um, so if we have any children here... If we go on inspect residence... Um, age group. How do we see how old they are? Previous day, next day, interest, reset filters. So this is the entire colony here. Or we can look at different domes, can't we? Yes, so we need the mega dome which we're in. So, yeah, so it does split it by dome. So here we've got Ooh, we need to name our Megadome so we know what it is, because I can't quite identify them from there. So our Megadome is called Root Number One. Nice name. And if we go on a, our command centre and go on Domes, so Root Number One is here, and it shows we've got uh, six children, seven youths, 21 adults, 15 middle-aged, and three senior. I think ultimately you, you might need a senior dome, because I don't think they work. But yeah, we need schools and stuff over here, so let's put some in. Uh, nursery to start off with. Look forward to getting that smart home, I don't know what that's all about. I'll just shimmy round and see if we can work out what space these guys are taking up. So can't build out on the outer bit there. But we can build in here. Or just up there. Okay. We'll build there. And, um, oh, we're still short of power, aren't we? So we're, we're still building these things. We've gone a high speed. I think we'll be okay. Let's just put in... Um, oh, yeah, we've got the Sterling Generator. I think we'll be absolutely fine. Let's build a playground. Just stack them up on this next level. And we'll build a school. It's a big building, so we'll put it over let's put it in here, next to the gym. And what else do we need? University. We could have a university over here because I don't think they can travel in between domes. Um, because we're not connected with this one. Uh, over to the to, to the rest of the... Um, to the rest of the colony. We've got no polymers, electronics or, or, or machine parts over here. But we have set the des desired amount as five. Now what I'm just wondering is that I can't really see any shuttles going over. I think... Ooh, what's happening over here then? What does this mean? Building is waiting for one fuel to resume. Right, high priority. High, high priority for our shuttles because we need to move goods in between this main colony and our megadome. That's why we're not building these um, power structures very quickly. Research complete. Interesting. I'm glad I noticed that. I wonder if we need... Um, Let's put this one on low priority then. That's because we had some of the ships on high priority. They were taking all of the um, fuel. There we go. Shuttles are back up and running. Um, oh, what are we doing? Oh, deep scanning. We forgot all about deep scanning, folks. Let's um, deep scan these areas. How oh, cool. There we go, got a heavy load for our shuttles, but they've um, just uh, reactivated. 
So that's a lesson learned. Don't put your um, your ships on high priority for refueling. Although this one is refueled, so we could use that on an expedition, or we could send it back to Earth. This one, five out of thirty. That will refuel slowly. Oh, it's ready to go. Oh no, the ooh, refugee rockets here. Let's accept them in. Um, blocked object. Got an RC transport getting in the way. There we go. Right, welcome refugees with your orange rocket. I don't know if you'll go all in here. Oh, there's only 21 out of 28. 24 out of 32. I think some people have been shipped over to the other Megadome from here, because I'm sure we were fuller than that. 53 out of 72, yeah. So I think we had something like 48 last time. Or did we? Or did we have 50? Or 52? Not sure. Hmm. There we go. Back in the power. Got somewhere that needs um, more power still over here. 12 power. Cool. Consumption's quite high on power then for some of these buildings. Some of them don't take much at all. We need a bit of uh, maintenance going on here. But the shuttles are back up and running. They're bringing in electronics and machine parts. That's good. There we go. We're doing some maintenance already. How are we low on power then? Oh no, we're not. It's fixed itself. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I think I think he dropped off a colonist. Yeah, 54. We did just have 53. So they're, they're swapping people about, which is interesting. <gasps> I've just noticed our research is at 2.8k. So we're getting there. And look, we've got all these buildings to build in our mega dome. We may end up having as much here as we do in, in the other part of the colony. And we're deep scanning. How far through the deep scan are we? 51%, 52. Um, oh. Sensor towers boost 350%. Ooh, it'll be interesting to see if anything comes out of that deep scan or not. Look at all this waste rock. We could build our own mountains, couldn't we? I, I wonder if we um, fill in a hole that would um, get rid of some of the waste rock like this. That's a hole, isn't it? Let's we experiment that. So we've got um, 4.3k um, waste rock. If we fill in a hole, that might get rid of some of it. So we'll flatten... Ah, look, yeah. Over on the right-hand side of the screen, it says required r waste rock. See the numbers changing? So required w waste rock is 70. Um, over there it's 41. Okay, well, let's just, um... Okay, well, that's a good, um, experiment. I don't think we need to flatten that. I'll just take, um... Ooh, look! Look, look, look! Deep scans, um, uncovered some, um, some anomalies. Let's go and explore that. Yeah, we've got a rover just here. So we'll bring him up and, um, scan that one. And, um, we'll bring this rover all the way back in case he breaks down and just scan that one. So we don't have to just double our actions. Okay. So 21 out of 30 fuel for that. 30 fuel, yeah, I'll keep you waiting. What are you saying? A brave citizen of Mars, ready to tame the final frontier. Status, working in water reclamation system, traits, refugee. Oh, oh, so he's a hypochondriac, a melancholic, and a genius. Uh, who would have thought? So I'm happy to have a genius on board. Um, Oh, we're really using all of these. Look, they're going over to the Megadome, I think. 71 polymers, 29 electronics, 20 uh, machine parts. But check it out, because we upgraded them, and they're producing 4.3 polymers, which is a lot. Him got some stored, 0.4. This one, we've got our machine parts factory, 4.8 production. Th only three production for our electronics factory. We're short of um, engineers. That's fine. And research has gone back down to 2.7k, was up to 2.8, and we're going uh, for the 3k mark. And that'll uncover a, ma a milestone and unlock something interesting, maybe. But that's our mission objective. So we're still not full shifts on these things. So we'll bring in another rocket. Refueled 11 out of 30. 
Have we got any spare rockets Anomaly to bring in? Analyzed. Available rockets, three out of five. Okay, we could just um, build another launch pad, which I think we're going to do, and we're going to bring in another rocket with some people. So we'll just put it right next to that one. And we'll give that... Um, Research complete. Oh, micro manufacturing. What's this? Oh, we can build our own electronics factory. That's cool. Um, we we analyse these anomalies, and they're actually just showing texts that that are available for research. But speaking of which, let's research some of these breakthrough things here. Um, Beyond Earth initiative, or we'll do whole polarisation first, then Beyond Earth, then this breakthrough up here, which um, means we can bring in any any spire as a prefab from Earth. Should be amazing. I hope. Maybe that will just uncover all the spires. What have we got here? Any buildings we haven't built? What's this? Subsurface heater increases the local temperature in cold areas and protects nearby buildings from cold waves. So I think we probably would want that for for um for water production, wouldn't we? Ooh, that might be something that we should do. Water and power production. Does power turn off in cold waves? Let's um, let's protect our water supply at the least, anyway, and um, and let's get a subsurface heater um, over here for our water production. Because does it say that water? Oh my goodness me! We've only got three thousand seven hundred water. What do we do when we run out of water? We've got 6,700 there. Well, I'll tell you what, we've got a water source over here. And we've got one over here. So we're going to have to tap up these water sources. So what I'll do is um, is build a, a water extractor here. And we're going to need to hook it up to the main system. So possibly no, not the necessary to build out there. Uh, beyond Earth, materials for the completion choose of the trade projects. rocket. Okay. So they need more uh, materials for the completion of its various projects. Now, we've got loads of concrete, haven't we? They're requesting polymers, metals, electronics. Oh, this is difficult. God, um, because we, we don't have a huge abundance of all of these. 141 metal in stock. Contain them food. Loads of food. Not loads of rare metals, so we'll have to check out the production on that and see if it's stopped. We've got we've got polymers, haven't we? The, we, the most thing we've got is polymers. We can always call in a resupply. Bizarrely from Earth. Okay, where's our command? Our drone command. RC commander, you are needed, my man, all the way over here. Because we're running out of water and we want to set up future supplies. There's no hurry, but you go over there and build something. We'll put a universal depot out there with a little bit of everything. That'll help our build project. So, universal depot. And we'll do two. As usual, we'll put one with just the building materials, metal and concrete, and we'll just have um, like ten of each or something, or maybe just five. Five of each for the for the metals, and we'll just have one of the um, these polymers and stuff and electronics, just in case we need it. Um, so the water extractor will need Resources are low. two machine parts and six concrete. And here's our commander coming. So you'll you'll build that water extractor before long, and we'll just build a small. Do we need to build a water tower? No, we don't, because we'll just hook it up to the grid, and and that should be fine. It'll then store water here. Oh, but it's full. Fifteen hundred water, which is great. Okay, that's um, total of eighteen hundred stored water. So that's where a lot of the supplies gone. Sector scanned. Okay, we're scanning sectors, so. We're deep scanning now, aren't we? Any more anomalies? Not not yet. So we deep scanned this one, I think. These two. Um, and we're scanning this one now. Deep scanning. 8% of the way through. Okay. Looking good. How's this rocket supply? 
16 out of 30, so we're doing very well. We're we're well on our our way to achieving our objectives, and um, we'll pause there for this episode. Join me in the next episode where we're going to drive forward the research to 3K and see what that that unlocks in, in terms of the mission objectives. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>